This one's going to be on Vim Instant Markdown, which is a plugin for Vim to view your Markdown documents in real time using a web browser. So let's give you this example here. We'll do Vim and we'll do like uh, testing.md for Markdown. And by default, it opens up a new tab like you just saw there and it connects it to localhost port 8090. All right. Anyways, let's do some Markdown writing here. Uh, we'll give it a title. We'll call this one Vim Instant uh, Markdown. All right. We'll say this is a plugin for Vim. Something like that. And let's say uh, we'll do another header here. We'll say install. Um, what is that? Uh, Vim. And also Vim Instant markdown right something like that and maybe we'll say another header here default port uh, so you can see you can view it in real time here not that hard but we'll say uh, was it the uh, HTTP uh, was that slash slash loco host and like I said, it's, it connects to port uh, 8090, right? Anything else in here? Um, if you want to add an image, which I don't always remember how to write that code, but let's do, what is that? Markdown, Kobe. And we're just going to paste this one in here. All right, an image, something like that. Um, let's finish this off. something like that so you can actually write it real quick and you can actually preview it um, you know much better than just looking at Vim um, with your tab here anyways that's what the plugin does basically it will just allow you to view it and you don't actually need another client you can just use your web browser which is really convenient if you know you want to type using Vim and you already have a web browser anyways so this is what I've been using uh, the last couple of weeks and it fits the needs, you know, it suits my um, preference for using Vim. And I also don't have to install uh, another client because I'll just use my web browser. Anyways, uh, that's how you would use this here. Um, like I said, by default, it opens up uh, automatically. So let's say we save this here. here. Uh, if you open it again, it'll actually automatically open a new tab here. Uh, right, but if you don't want to uh, open it automatically, you can actually go into your Vim RC, which I'm going to do that here. If you go into your Vim RC, all you got to do is um, if you want to disable by default, you you know, let was a uh, G blah blah blah. You get the idea here instant markdown auto start, and you want to set it to zero, and that uh, will disable it. So when you run the Vim, uh, what's that markdown thing here again? It will not open it. But if you want to open it, you know, let's do uh, what's that command, which is the colon, and then you do uh, instant uh, markdown preview here, and then it'll open a new tab. So if you want to do it manually, that's what you have to type into your um, Vim RC configuration, right? So that's it for this one. If you're a markdown user and a Vim user. I'll suggest you use this uh, when you're writing your documents and you know wiki posts or uh, GitHub or something like that. Then you can use this. Anyways, that's it for this one.